from the makers of Kaka One. Oh, oh! <laughs> Kaka Two. <laughs> Is that bloke behind a bouncer? And he's saying, no, you can't come in. See how you like it. Saying, apart from the door frame and this coffee mug, is there super glue anywhere else? <laughs> <laughs> Health officials have shut down the village fate. Apparently, there was an outbreak of tombola. <laughs> now it's over to our toys and games correspondent, Natasha Kaplunksky. <laughs> The news, what has Prince Charles said is the largest challenge facing the world today? Is it narrow doorways and you get your ears caught? <laughs> <laughs> Look, an ancient African city from the makers of Timbuk One. <laughs> <laughs> How about giving three year olds the vote and still having one ballot box but four different shapes that they have to put in? <laughs> it looks like a runner bean, only smaller. From the makers of Mange One. <laughs> <laughs> what I didn't understand about the Scottish election thing was if the Scottish didn't want to be part of Great Britain, where were they going to live? <laughs> I think people quite like Nigel Farage because uh, he's a bit of a colourful character, which is ironic. <laughs> <laughs> and the topic is family. <laughs> My uncle, he was a cruel man. He knew we lived in a bungalow. He had every year for Christmas, we always got a slinky. It's a miracle my sister's getting married. I went to the printers to get the invites, and he said, well, what, what typeface? I went... <laughs> she seems to like him. <laughs> <laughs> my grandfather, during the war, he broke the Enigma code machine. <laughs> then he went AWOL. <laughs> well, it's not quite true. Then he became an owl. My grandmother, she's been talking about downsizing, and now she's in a little urn. <laughs> My other grandmother, she was a children's writer. Uh, you may have seen her book, Jack Goes Strawberry. <laughs> I haven't always been popular with my family uh, as a vegan. normally work. <laughs> <laughs> Recently, my family all clubbed together and got me a voucher for a clinic in Switzerland. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, it's not nice, though, to have another culture imposed on you at school. I remember when I was rushed to hospital with 80% Chinese burns. getting stroppy, actually. I was in Cardiff in Waterstones recently. I asked for Pride and Prejudice, and the bloke said, I'm proud to be Welsh and I hate the English. <laughs> Just time now to see what the papers say. <laughs> Is it, what did his friends call Nostradamus? <laughs> now, our next guest, believe it or not, is both a poo and a lice inspector. Sorry, police inspector. <laughs> Troy, certificate 15. If you're too young, why don't you make a giant wooden adult? <laughs> <laughs> the thing about voting for an independent Scotland is once you put your X in a box, you can cut it out and use it as a little flag. <laughs> the topic is romance. I met my wife on the net. We were both rubbish trapeze artists. <laughs> <laughs> Two 
terrible, isn't it, when someone doesn't want to live with you anymore? Part of you is thinking, I don't think you're going to survive in the real world. Another part of you is thinking, well, at least I'll be rid of your drunken arguing. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we need to let the Scottish people go. <laughs> Any Scottish people here? Yeah. You can go. <laughs> a girl came up to me the other day, started going, foot loose, foot loose, then her foot fell off. <laughs> I tried to impress a girl once by putting my foot down on the pedal. Turns out she'd seen a bin open like that before. <laughs> A girl came up to me once, she said, you know, I can tell someone's personality by what kind of car they drive. I said, I haven't got one. <laughs> <laughs> so, lads, so, lads, do you ever get given a job to do and you deliberately do it really, really badly so you never get given that job again? <laughs> I mean, I hardly know CPR anyway. <laughs> My wife's giving me the silent treatment at the moment, lying there day after day, beginning to smell a bit now. 